Hey everybody, I'm Kristen from Magoosh. Welcome to another episode of Tuesday CT. And this week we're talking about why are new ACT essay scores so low? Huh. So recently, the Washington Post came out with an article and I've heard this anecdotal evidence from students I've tutored and from other students as well too, or from other tutors, that students have been really shocked by their inexplicably low ACT essay scores. So just to back up a little, the ACT essay completely changed in September of last year. So we've had three administrations so far. We've had September, we've had uh, September, we've had December, and we've had February, and students are are angry because their essay scores seem to them or to a lot of them to be really low. So let's talk about why this is and then talk about how you can not be one of these angry students if you're retaking the, S the ACT or you're taking it in the future. Let's talk about how you can get the ACT score that you think you deserve. All right, so here's why I think the two main reasons why students are shocked by their inexplicably low ACT scores. So the first reason is as this little guy, this shocked and appalled cartoon guy, thinks or <laughs> is thinking, 1 to 36, this new scale that the ACT essay is being scored out of. So it used to be out of a, a scale of 2 to 12. So I think it's pretty understandable that students who maybe saw a score on an old essay of 9 out of 12 were like, oh, that's not so bad. And then they see a score of 26 out of 36 on the new one and they're like, what the heck? But really those would roughly be about the same. We can't exactly compare those two scales, but hopefully that just helps illustrate the idea. Now you're seeing scores that look a lot like the scores you're getting in the other composite sections and they may not seem quite as great to you as when the ACT essay had its own sort of scale. And the other reason is because I think students haven't really learned how to write the new ACT essay yet. It's a lot more complicated than the old one. Now it's asking you to do several things instead of just one thing. And I know that the graders that have been trained to grade these essays are ticking off boxes and checking off and making sure you did all the things that the question asked you to do. And so if you don't do that, you're not going to get a very high score. So let's talk about how you can get hopefully a better ACT essay score. And the first way to do that is to answer all three parts of the question. This is what I mean about being more complicated. You have to analyze the three perspectives that are given to you on that issue. You have to state and develop your own view, and you have to explain the relationship between your view and the three perspectives given. So this is where I think a lot of students are messing up. They're not analyzing all three perspectives, um, and they're maybe just doing their own view, or they're doing the three perspectives and they're not clearly stating their own view. I actually think that's more common that students kind of get caught up in evaluating the three perspectives and forget to make a really strong argument of their own. And then this last one is not incredibly important. It should naturally happen in your writing. And if you choose to agree with one of the three perspectives, which I think is the best bet for most students out there, just totally agree with one of them and you don't have to worry about having your own, your own ideas here, that's going to happen naturally. The relationship between your own view and one of the three views is that you agree entirely with one of the three. Now we have some other videos for, for top scores and some other blog posts, so if you want to get into more of the nuances of the essay, you can check those out. But I think for most students, agree with one of the three viewpoints and you're going to completely knock this third part off the, your list of things to do and you can get a perfect score that way anyway, so it's really the safe route. All right, the next thing that you need to do in order to get a good score on this essay is have a really strong thesis statement that states an argument, something that somebody could disagree with. Now, I'm very much willing to bet this is the number one faux pas of students on the new ACT essay, is that they have a thesis statement that's something like this. There are many pros and cons to intelligent machines in our world today. Or, some people think intelligent machines are good, other people think that they're bad. And the reason that students are doing things like that is because they're being given three perspectives, some of which think intelligent machines are good, some which think they are bad, and they're trying to summarize all of this into a thesis statement. And it ends up just being really wishy-washy. And the most important thing to the graders is that you state your own argument. So your thesis statement, that last sentence of your first paragraph should clearly state what your opinion is and then deal with those other perspectives in the body of your essay. I promise that will go over much better for you. 
And finally, what you need to do to get a good score on the ACT essay is have several specific examples. So the ACT graders are just like your English teachers. They are going to constantly be asking you, where is the support? Where is the evidence for that? You've probably heard that from an English teacher or two before on one of your essays. Same thing here. You need to have examples to back up your claims. And this is super important to getting a good score, so make sure and at least you have at least one example in every body paragraph. Sometimes you might have more and that's great, but shoot for at least one specific example in each body paragraph and you will be in pretty good shape. Okay, so make sure you're answering all parts of the question. Make sure you have a strong thesis that states your argument, something that somebody could say, no, I think something else entirely. I disagree with that. That's how you can check and make sure it's a strong thesis. And finally, have very specific examples. And hopefully that will help you not be one of these students who is really sad about their inexplicably low ACT scores that have seemed to be coming out on the essay. If you want more tips on how to write the ACT essay, we have lesson videos, we have practice prompts for you at act.magoosh.com. And I will see you back here next week on Tuesday CT for some more tips.